I mean, the big conspiracy is <laughs> one of the big conspiracies going around right now is um, how Trump is basically Biff from Back to the Future, <laughs> too. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard that one? No, but that makes sense. <laughs> okay, here we go. Get ready. Buckle in. Okay, so this one fascinates me. Love Tesla. Tesla is another one. Him and Jay. AFK. Tesla connects to everything else. Everything else. He's his own per little perfect rabbit hole. Tesla, when he was, whatever happened to him, old age maybe, uh, <laughs> who knows, but uh, he was in a New Yorker hotel, and as soon as he dropped dead, as soon as he, before his body was fucking cold, the ABC organizations were storming his room. And they found all sorts of his notebooks. Mm -hmm. Tesla figured out time travel. He figured out it's a electromagnetic uh, thing. So he was messing with one of his Tesla coils one day, and he said, "What happens if I go like this?" You know, and he like touched it, mm -hmm. and then suddenly he found himself in a in a bubble outside of time and he talks about how he was able to look one way and see the future look another way and see the past okay so that notebook landed in the lap of john trump john trump is the very intelligent scientist who works at uh he was working at MIT, I guess, and um, who who Donald talks about all the time. Very, very smart. My the greatest uncle I ever had. So smart. <laughs> okay, so now you you're putting two and two together. So there's there's John Trump reading Tesla's notes, and then in comes you know little Donnie, and he's all, "Oh, hey, Uncle John, what are you working on?" And he and, and John Trump says. Oh, I'm going to make you a millionaire. Come with me. Let's grab this almanac. You and I are going to go through time. And we're going we're to get you. We're going to make you a lot of money. Ah, oh, and we're going to set you up to be freaking president. Ah, oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I'm sorry. I get carried away. No, I love it. I love it. That's what they're talking about is going on right now. So. Yeah, I believe that in Mandela effect, if you got people like Trump just being all, uh, why don't we go back to uh, 1969 for a little? You know, like, you know what I mean? I well, am they, sure that, that makes fun. sense. There has to, there's, there's got to be something that makes sense to me as to how this could happen. One and two, the way that billionaires and trillionaires now act leads me to believe that they know something we don't know because they hoard this money, right? And I'm like, if you, if we're all seriously going to die, um, <laughs> right? And you can't take it with you, even though you can leave it for your family, but it's it's a, it's a greed to, and a desire to control us to a degree that leads me to believe that they, they know something we don't know because they don't, they have no accountability. They have no remorse. You know, they have no sense of humanity. So some, they got to know something that we don't. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you, you follow the money and you say, wow, a lot of, a lot of CEOs stepped down before all this went. Yes. Crazy. A lot of, a lot of big, you know, CEOs or, you know, Bezos and Gates. Yeah. Why the fuck are they, why are they building underground, you know, layers? Like what's up with that? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, like, what do they know? There's also a lot of celestial wackiness going on. Um, a lot of, you know, planets, great conjunctions, you know, something's going on with the sun. Um, I, it's either like a solar minimum. So that would that would mean that uh, crops are going to start to fail pretty soon. That That's happened before. If they if they knew that, uh, you know, they might want to head for the hills, man. Uh, if there was too many of us. And not enough food, they may want to take down the population. You know, it's like it's it's you, you kind of start connecting dots, and you um, you, you know, all, you, oh, so many questions. That's why I'm I was just like, I'm just gonna 
try to figure out who I am. <laughs> I, I so feel that on so many levels that just that like hit me right here because it becomes overwhelming. And then you're like, yeah. you know, and then if you know too much, then, then, then you have a heart attack and you never had a heart condition, you know, like, or you just did. I don't know if you, uh, I followed the, uh, I, 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 uh, I practice a lot of, uh, you know, herbal, I, tr I treat myself a lot with herbal medicines and there were like 10 herbal medicine doctors that just de died. Like they just, you saw it, right. That they, it was just weird. Like one, one was found in a car, like throughout the country. Um, and you know, that the, the, the uh, Gerson doctor was poisoned with arsenic who treated cancer with juice, with natural juicing. He got poisoned twice. The second time they finally killed him. Yeah. And those clinics are outlined, are out, outlawed in the United States. Yeah, <laughs> they don't. They don't want anything. They, they, they don't want anything to be easily bought or sold or easily consumed or grown that they can't control. You know, that's their that's their thing, man. It's like they're not making money off of it, and then they then they go to extremes, and that's with everything. I mean, they, they, it's like they've, they, they solve fucking cancer, like Tesla. They solve fucking cancer back in the fucking, I don't know, the thirties or whatever the fuck wasn't profitable. There's, there's, there's like three different, four or five different patented ways to cure cancer. All those guys have been killed and those patents are owned by, you know, alphabet organizations. God damn. I gotta be careful. I don't know how I've lasted. I don't know how it's uh, knock on wood. I talk about this shit all the time. I talk about this shit all the time. And um, I don't know. Just I don't I don't know how I'm able to to be in the circles that I'm in, I, I'm, I that I travel in and still talk about this shit. You know what I mean? I was gonna ask you that. I was gonna say, how do you, you know, you work because well, I see that like I said, I ain't on Facebook and my definitely I see that my numbers are, are have, have been controlled that I, I you know Same. that's just my suspicion um and because i never sold my soul and i never you know i never you know joined any of those secret societies to help out my career that i, I did it the old-fashioned way with my own fucking moxie or whatever the fuck that um you mean talent you mean your skills? <laughs> <laughs> takes takes a lot. I mean, you could be really, you can have a lot of talent, but you need luck. You need fucking no people. You need it's like there's a lot that goes into this this thing, wishing on stars and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know how I'm able to do. I, I don't know. I don't know how I've gotten this far. I think it's because you know what it is. I think it's because I like I said, wishing on stars. I think I hacked it. I think I hacked like what they had to fucking sell their souls to do in order to manipulate shit space mm -hmm. continuum in order to get, you know, give their, give their manifesting creative energy over to some other darker thing and say, you do it for me. Instead of doing it themselves, they've become weaker. Yeah. You know, and, um, I figured out how to manifest this stuff just on my own, my my lonesome. I agree. I, you know, I think there's something to that. It's the force. It's the fucking force, man. There's a good side and there's a bad side, but it's still the force. It's how you choose to wield it. There is a magic. There is a mathematical, you know, system that is part of our space time continuum. That's how this third dimension works. And if you can figure out how to talk to it, which is the, the, the language of emotion and intention and good, good intention. And if you ask it right, shit, shit comes true. Wish upon a star. That shit comes true. It's happened to me many times. Yeah. Um, if you know how to listen to it, you know, read the alchemist. That's a, that's a huge yeah. hint. Yes. Um, but, uh, yeah, to, uh, I don't know. I went off on a tangent there. Oh, I love it because I live by. I, I mean, I have a book that I, I, I 
travel with called the power of your subconscious mind. Okay. And my mantra is the universe agrees with a made up mind. So I live by that. I, I do believe in, you know, the programming and we have to reprogram ourselves because, you know, well, shit, we are a program. But I, I just sit down and I think about those things because I'm not negotiable either. And I look at some of my counterparts in comedy and I, and I realize that some trajectories are different. I don't have any desire to be a part of that because it's just not in my, my, my emotional wheelhouse. Yeah, just be, you know, I, I always thought like, just be you and then everyone else will catch up, you know, even if it takes a couple of years, like, just 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 be true to you make stuff do stuff that that is fun for you is entertaining to you and then people figure it out 